I was born 87 years ago. For 65 years, I've ruled as Tamriel's emperor. But for all these years, I've never been the ruler of my own dreams. I have seen the gates of oblivion, beyond which no waking eye may see. Behold, in darkness, a doom sweeps the land. This is the 27th of last seed, the year of Akatosh 433. These are the closing days of the third era and the final hours of my life. Welcome viewers to Let's Play Oblivion. More specifically, Elder Scrolls IV Oblivion. So, this is my first video. Hopefully I don't do too badly on this. But, anyways, as you can see from the epic storyline, this is a very good game. And, trust me, it is very good at... That guard is not correctly so so sized. You probably couldn't see them, but those guards are not correctly sized. Comparison to the actual size of the buildings in the game. Anyways, it appears that we're in a prison. Now, let me explain what each of the races do very quickly. First of all, here's the Imperial. The Imperials are a very charismatic race. They are very good at um, convincing people to do what they want them to do, and they're also very good at bartering and they're really good at getting good deals. Then here's the Khajiits. The Khajiits are, as it says in here, are quick and agile. Not necessarily intelligent, mind you. And as they also says, they can be excellent thieves. This is quite true. They can be good thieves. Particularly in areas where it's too dark for most people for most computer players to see. Now is the Nord. The Nord is, well, basically a Norseman. And they are, as it says, strong and hardy. They tend to be very good fighters. They're also highly resistant to the cold. Because of this, they can actually are quite resistant to frost magic. And they are also known for drinking a lot. And so is the Imperials being very egotistical and arrogant. And Khajiits were also slaves in the last game. I should have explained those. Then there are the Orcs. And as you could probably guess, they're pretty stupid. They don't have very much intelligence to speak of. They are very tough. They are very tough and resistant to um, damage. They can also deal a lot of damage because of their Berserker Rage. They're also very good armorers as well, meaning they're pretty good at keeping the re their equipment repaired. Then there's the Red Guards. The Red Guards are sort of they're warrior. They're like warriors, but they're all, but they're much quicker than your typical warrior. They're also resistant to disease and poison. Then there's the Wood Elf. Unfortunately, in this game, the Wood Elf is actually kind of worthless. Be besides the fact that they are good thieves, they are not very useful, because archery sucks in this game. And then, here's the Argonian. The Argonian, as you can see, is a reptilian race. And, as it says here, they're well suited for treacherous swamps in their homeland. AKA, they're very, they have a very good, they have natural immunities to diseases and poisons. Well, they're immune to poisons and res highly resistant to disease. They can breathe under, and they can breathe underwater, and they're good at lockpicking. Very good to have 
when you're going into a flooded cave. Not very common in the game, so though, so I'm not going to play as an Argonian. Then here's the Breton. This is the class I'm going to play. They are all they are the second best at magic. They are also the most resistant to magic. And they also are much more skilled at magic than other ra than all the other races as well. So they have the second highest magic capacity, the best resistance to magic, and can and they are the most skilled with magic. Then there's the Dark Elves. For just the main story, these are very good. You know, the Oblivion story, the main story. That's what the Dark Elves are good for. The Dark Elves are very good for that because of their resistance to fire. Because of this, it, they're very good for just the main... If you're only just doing the main story and doing a quick playthrough. But I'm not doing a quick playthrough. And they also seem to be very good with destruction magic. Not that I use it very much, mind you. Then there's the High Elves. In my honest opinion, probably the worst race. Because, sure, they have the highest magic in the entire game, but they're the most susceptible to it, to fire, frost, and shock, the three basic destruction spells. So they're actually quite weak. Well, that's all for the races. So, and the class I'm choosing is Breton. What was the hairstyle I had for my character? I'm going to say this, viewers. I'm actually going to switch to another file. Switch to a, another Breton character as soon as I get to the point to where he was. So, uh, because initially I was going to use that Breton for Let's Play, but I got too impatient and didn't have the equipment at the time to actually do it. So I'm just going to design it with really ridiculous hair color. Until then. Actually, no. I'm not that mean. Where's a black? Black, black, black. Yeah, that works. Yeah, let's have longer hair. Let's see, what else? We want our guy to be as young as possible, because I don't want him to look like this. I want him to look like this. And his complexion more like this. And as for the name... How about... Let's see if I can remember this. Basinator. Yes, I want to be a bread. And, as you can see, stupid tutorials teaching you the things that almost any per person who played on a computer in first person per should know. And... Hold on a second. By the way, you access your inventory by pressing F2, because the game doesn't really directly tell you. It's not important now, but it will be. These tell your stats. As you can see, I don't have very much health, but I got plenty of magicka and plenty of um, fatigue, although it should say energy. And as you can see, I got a decent balance of stats. And I tend, and I'm actually quite good with conservation and restoration by default. And I'm just a lowly character, a level one character. There are also factions in the game, which you can't join one until much later in the until you get to a certain point. There's also this. There are 21 skills in the game in total. And there's not much else. And we have one active quest available, which would be the tutorial. Not that it's really important. For now, let's just go up to the door and see why the heck we're here. Pale skin, snotty expression. You're a Breton. The master oh. of magic, right? <laughs> Nothing but a bunch of stuck-up snobs with cheap parlor tricks. Go ahead. Try your magica in here. Let's see you make those bars disappear. No. 
Sorry, What's viewers, that was the timer. Not I don't so have much more time now, left. How are you, Breton? You're not leaving this prison till they throw your body in the lake. Oh, that's right. You're going to die in here, Breton. You're going to die.